This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2510. Find joy in your financial goals by Andrea Joy of savingjoyfully.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Sunday, and welcome to our bonus episode where I share another podcast from our network. And today's comes from Optimal Finance Daily. Remember, you can find that show wherever you're listening to this. Diana covers saving, investing, and earning more every day of the week. So with that, here's Diana reading for you along with her commentary as we optimize your life. Find Joy in Your Financial Goals by Andrea Joy of SavingJoyfully.com Do you know how to find joy in your financial goals? This concept of joy and financial goals is often overlooked. We tend to forget the correlation between managing our finances and discovering joy. Is joy a result of having more money? No, but joy can be found in learning the place that money should have in our lives. Joy can also be discovered in our hard-fought journeys to financial freedom. Where do you find joy in your financial goals? I see the pursuit of my financial goals, especially the journey to debt freedom, as a joyful experience. I'm currently on my way to realizing this goal of debt freedom through many long years of hard work and sacrifice. Every hard-fought debt that is now behind me is leading me towards a better place financially. Money is not everything in life, but the less that money controls your life, the better. My goals in pursuing debt freedom are fueled by my desire to be able to pursue my dreams without the stress of debt, to be able to do what I love and not worry constantly about making my bills. Pursuing life goals and dreams without debt. There was a time in my life where I thought I would never see a life without debt. In hindsight, I look back and realize that attitude is what held me back all along. If you set a goal to pay off debt and work hard towards paying it down, that day will eventually come. You will more easily be able to find joy in your financial goals if your attitude is right and you develop a plan. What holds you back from being debt-free? Lack of self-control and spending and saving an attitude of consumerism and always desiring more, no budget and no plan established, and a negative attitude towards budgeting and money management. What helps you achieve debt freedom? Develop a positive attitude towards money and paying down debt. Find joy in your financial goals. Find ways to make it more enjoyable wherever you can. Start and maintain a budget. Adopt a minimalist attitude. Learn to be grateful for what you already have. Realize that rewarding yourself does not have to involve money. Find alternative rewards and splurges that are cheaper or even free. Create a plan to pay down your debt and stick to it. And involve your partner or family to hold you accountable. Starting to find joy in my financial goals. For years, I felt overwhelmed by my debt. I constantly felt like there was no end in sight. I hated the day-to-day grind and the lack of money at the end of each month, but I never made the right choices. My attitude consumed me to the point that my financial goal appeared impossible. I spent years just trying to survive with the same attitudes and behaviors that got me into this debt. Instead of making the necessary budget changes and paying off debt, I would just open a new credit card. That attitude and outlook eventually spiraled out of control to the point that I was in the negative every month with maxed out credit cards. I felt hopeless and embarrassed by the mess that I'd made and I had no one to blame but myself. How my debt and financial life changed. The change began when I recognized that my attitude and behaviors were the problems. I began working on my attitude, my budget, goal setting, and I made a plan. I started to see results shortly afterwards in many small ways. I focused on paying off the lowest debts first and worked my way up. Each successful debt payoff, no matter how small, made a difference in the way I perceived the end goal. Many people argue about the best way to pay off debt. Sometimes you can save more in the long run by paying off a higher interest rate first. For me, the act of paying off smaller ones first was the motivation that I needed to keep going. I had to see the results of my efforts in some small way to keep me on the right track. Determining what method to use when paying down debt. Decide what works best for you and focus on your debt goals as you move forward. Deciding what method to use in paying down debt is completely up to you. This is a personal decision that you must make and no matter what decision you choose to make, 
Sticking to your plan is the key to success. Ways to find joy in your financial goals. Focus on your present circumstances and what you can change now. Recognize that every small victory is leading you forward. Complete a money-saving challenge this year. These can be fun and can leave you with a large amount to save for later or pay down debt now. Find ways to enjoy yourself for free or cheap that does not create more strain on your budget. And start saving before you do anything else, if possible. Having some savings can make a big difference in keeping you from further debt. Keep track of your financial success along the way. Last year, I wrote a post where I discussed our financial circumstances in 2020. Looking back on the post I wrote last year, I find it encouraging to think of how far we've come in just a year. Maybe consider keeping a journal or spreadsheet that you update once a year in the same month. It can be helpful and motivating at times to look back and see the difference that just one year can make. Don't give up, someday you will see results. Don't give up before you get started. Recognize that although it will not be an easy road for many of you, it can be done. I've gone from 90 grand in student loans and over 150,000 in consumer debt, including credit cards and loans, to $11,000 in consumer debt and $75,000 in student loans remaining. My husband and I just successfully paid off our vehicle this month. I feel confident that we'll have that remaining loan debt paid off shortly. My student loans will be my next major hurdle to tackle, but one debt is way easier to pay off quickly than multiple debts. My challenge to you today, don't focus only on what you have not yet accomplished. Shift your focus to your successes no matter how small you might feel that they are. Accept your circumstances as a challenge that you're capable of managing and start making changes today. Those changes can be simple and can include increased debt payoff, more savings this year, or decreasing spending. If at all possible, find someone else to hold you accountable in how you're managing your finances. Someone who you can trust to keep you following your goals even when you might get discouraged. Lastly, find joy in your financial goals and learn not only to accept your debt freedom journey, but to enjoy the process. Debt can take a long time to pay off, but it doesn't have to be a miserable experience. You could even do what I've been able to do to share what you've learned to help others. You just listened to the post titled, Find Joy in Your Financial Goals by Andrea Joy of savingjoyfully.com. When you're hiring, it feels amazing to finally close out a job search. But what if you could get rid of the search and just match? You can with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. When it comes to happiness and joy, I like to think of it as less about pleasure and much more about the expansion of possibility. And finding joy in financial goals is very similar to finding joy in anything else that's challenging. There's satisfaction that comes with doing a hard thing and challenging yourself. You're able to build resilience and grow as a person through the challenges you overcome. I believe it was Mr. Money Mustache who said that effort is the spice of life, and I wholeheartedly agree. I also recognize that this process isn't going to feel like sunshine and roses all the time. Overcoming challenges is hard for a reason, but I found that I'm much more able to find the joy in it if I can put it in perspective. So for example, when I was walking the Camino in 2017, which is a 500 mile trek across Spain that took me 38 days, I had plenty of moments of feeling sorry for myself. I was walking 10 to 20 miles per day, many times on blisters, 
I lost 200 euro one day from it falling out of my pack. I got mauled by bed bugs twice and it was really uncomfortable. But I tried to remind myself that I was also so fortunate to be able to face and overcome these challenges. I got to spend two months in Spain and I was given time off work. My legs worked well enough to carry me all that way and I had money in the bank to fund this trip. I think the key to finding the joy in challenges is recognizing what we already have to be grateful for while we work towards something better. And that will do it for today. Have a great day and start to your weekend. Thank you for listening. And I'll be back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.